there. Welcome to ANSYS Artistry. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Uh, today I'm trying my hands on a Dutch pour, but there's two different things that I haven't tried. One is I'm using a really small size canvas. Uh, there's two canvases here. I've stacked them like this. Uh, each one is eight inches by 10 inches. And the second different thing that I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be using the world's tiniest blower. I did make some attachments to it. It's homemade. So let's see if this one works. All right. Uh, the colors that I'm going to be using for today are inspired by the fall weather, autumn colors. So I have two shades of yellow, two shades of orange, two shades of deep red, and then I have two shades of brown. I'm going to use this color on a black base. As usual, all of these paints have been thinned down using Floetrol and water. I use the ratio one part paint to two part Floetrol and a little bit of water. And I make sure all of these paints, including the base, have similar consistency. Um, I guess I've told whatever I wanted to say. Let's get on with this painting. I'm going to put down the base paint and I will be right back. All right, we got the black down on the canvas. I'm gonna pop these air bubbles. Okay, so the black that I used is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black, thinned down using Floetrol and water. Um, now on to layering our paints. I'm gonna start with the yellow followed by orange, then the red, and then the brown. I'm hoping to see this painting represent the autumn leaves. So let's see how this one works. I, I'm thinking I probably need to mix up these paints a little bit, but that I'll do before blowing it out. So let's start with the yellows and let me make my design. So I'm starting with the cadmium yellow medium by Liquitex. All right, so that's going to be the design. Then I have Azo Yellow Deep by Amsterdam. All right, then I have Orange by Artist Loft. Next is Cadmium Orange Hue by Liquitex. Next, I have Nathol Red by Amsterdam. Then I have a custom maroon that I used for one of my previous paintings. This has naphthol red, cadmium red deep, ultramarine blue and van dyke brown. So I mixed all of these colors to get this shade of deep red. All right, and then I have burnt umber by Amsterdam. And then I have Van Dyke Brown. So if I start blowing it out, just as uh, how it looks, I'm thinking I might see those bright yellows but i want it to be more blended so i'm thinking maybe i should put a little bit of the black and not try to blow the black over it but at least just squeeze those lines you know let's try that one out so i'm going to put a little bit of the base paint here OK, 
Okay, I'm hoping that's enough. So here we go with the new, what is it called? World's tiniest blower. All right, this is USB powered. So I have this thing here. So let's squeeze these lines here now. Okay, so now when I spread these colors out, I'm hoping it's going to blend in a little more uh, than usual. Okay, so let's start blowing it out now. I'm gonna start somewhere here. That's not bad at all. Really, I got my colors to blend in. I do see a little bit of the yellow sticking out at places, but for the most part, it looks like fall colors to me. Yes, I still have to practice how to hold that small uh, blow dryer and make things work like the way I want it, but I'll take this. This looks beautiful. Love the colors, love that it is black background. It just looks beautiful, very pretty. I still have to like, I, I see I don't like these lines. This is when the colors don't blend in. The yellow is not mixing with any other color. So I'm gonna just blow it over a little bit and see if I can fix those, okay?
hey this one turned out really nice I'm very happy uh, I'm not too sure how this yellow is going to dry but right now it looks like it has that glowing effect from behind it would be nice to have it when this dries up but we'll only know after this one dries so I'm just gonna let it dry and keep my fingers crossed and hope it dries beautifully um, before I let you go I still have to make sure that I have uh, paint coverage in between these canvases so I'm trying to see how I can move this let's see just a little bit There we go so I can see that there's the black coverage is not proper so I'm going to pour some black paint in there and fix that thing there here All right, I got all the edges uh, covered up with the paint. I fixed some of the places that needed fixing. Um, I think I'm pretty much done. So I uh, will bring you down and show you the close up of this beautiful painting. The world's tiniest blower, you did a great job. So let's go ahead and continue with our painting. I'll bring you down for a close up now. All right, here is the close-up. Look at this painting. Nice blend of these colors. It does remind me of the fire painting. Obviously, it's similar colors, the red, orange, and the yellow. But this time, I added the brown to make it look like autumn colors. So, it does look like autumn colors but I do see a little bit of the fire effect in here as well. Beautiful blending, the world's tiniest blower. I'm gonna use it quite a bit often now. Beautiful, I love the size of this canvas as well. It looks beautiful. There we have it, the entire painting. Beautiful fall inspired Dutch pour painting. If you've loved how this video has turned out, please do hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to support my art channel. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.